Susan with LifeSkate.com catching up with Lucinda Rue, world competitor and also known as the Queen of Spin. Lucinda was on hand at Lasca Rink in Central Park to support One Step Closer, an ice show to benefit the AIDS Resource Foundation for Children. This was a wonderful opportunity. I'm so honored and um, for this cause, I mean, it's incredible to be here. So I took the opportunity to come by. Now your pupil, Brian Schubert, just won the bronze in Torino. That must be pretty exciting because you have been working with him for two seasons. Yeah, yes I have. I actually worked with him about four or five years ago as well. And then I worked with him the last two seasons. So um, he had a little bit of his ups and downs during this last season, but I'm really proud of him to come out of the Olympic shock, you know, of what happened at the Olympics for him. So I'm really, really proud of him that he got the bronze medal. It was more um, for himself, you know, the world. So it wasn't really to even win the gold medal or anything. It was really to be able to do that program, do that quad, and uh, his spins did improve. Sometimes, you know, he doesn't do it all the time, but he has improved in them, so I'm proud of him. Did you have a chance to talk to Brian after the Olympics, just to go over what happened and give him a pep talk? Um, yeah, I mean, I've really tried to be a mentor to him the last couple of seasons, so I think my talk and me being there for him, I think that's what he really needed, people to be there for him and people to support him and be proud of him and also believe in him because he gets down on himself so easily when he doesn't like do a quad even in practice he just gets so mad at himself so I think my mentoring helped hopefully I hope <laughs> now you're living in New York City what's going on with your life well actually I just finished writing my book um, this was really a goal of mine to write my autobiography of all the trials and tribulations that I've gone through um, a lot of people don't know what I've gone through I've lived all around the world and there are just a lot of things in my life that I had to deal with and people don't know about it. And so that was my goal to write it, to inspire children of all ages, adults of all ages all around the world. So hopefully I get to publish that this year. That's really my goal. And I'm um, working on a couple of different productions. So we'll see how it's going to go along. And you're still pursuing the acting and modeling. Yeah, so I'm pursuing the acting and the modeling. That's right. And skating, hopefully. <laughs> What's going on well, with the skating? I mean, I, you know, I've had so many injuries on the ice and I really did everything that I possibly could do on the ice in my in my own career I mean I I had the spins I did the stars on ice I did the worlds so right now I'm hoping to do the skating in a different direction maybe produce maybe have my own show um, of course I love mentoring I'm probably going to be with Alexei Michin in the summer yeah he's uh, invited me to be with him to do the summer camps uh, throughout Europe so hopefully I'll be doing that really mentoring the young kids, be able to help them through everything that I've learned through my life and skating and uh, maybe produce. I'd like to have my own show, so we'll see. What's your assessment of all the skaters that you saw during the Olympics and Worlds? What, what's, what's your assessment of their spinning under the new judging system? Um, one thing, I wish I would be skating right now because I think <laughs> if I would be skating right now, I'd, I'd have like a blast. I'd, I, I, I would love the new system. Um, Unfortunately, I do have some problems with it, just that everybody has to do this. Well, everybody ends up doing the same thing. I mean, you see a lot of the spins that I created about, wow, almost nine years ago or so. Um, everybody is doing them. So it, I wish the skaters would come up with their own creations and try to get marks on their own with their own spin creations. That's the only thing. But other than that, I mean, I think it's great that they're giving more points for that and making the skaters think about and emphasize on the other aspects of skating than just the jumps. So, in that way I think it's good. They are, I think they need to tweak the system just a little bit, but I don't know. Who is your favorite spinner, male or female, <laughs> that, that's currently competing? That's currently competing. Um, I mean, I think Stefan Lambiel, of course. And do you have any other things that you want to share with your yeah. fans? Another thing, um, I just recently got engaged uh, about three, four months ago, so I'm actually getting married in October in New York City. Lucky fella? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Who lucky is the fella. lucky fella? Who is the lucky fella? I'm lucky too. Um, no, he's a wonderful man, wonderful gentleman, so I'm lucky. You want to keep him private? <laughs> Definitely. Is he in the skating world? No, he's not in the skating world, no. Do you think that's a good thing? I think for me that's a good thing. I think one one person in the family has done the skating all their life. I think that's enough energy on that side. So, um, yeah, no, but he's a wonderful man. I couldn't be happier.